lovely people you're welcome to my channel journey to 50 so that we're talking about why did i leave farming why did i leave farming okay like i said i was into agriculture for over seven years i still do consulting but i'm no longer in active farming for now that doesn't mean i'll not go back i'll go back at the right time so what are the reasons why i left farming five reasons why i left farming for now lack of enough funds i didn't have enough funds to do the business okay when i started yes i think i had two million or three million to start and that was not actually enough to do farming in a lucrative way so i didn't have enough funds to be able to do farming the way i wanted that was one of the reasons i left because the kind of farming that kind of money can afford me is the farming that i have to basically do everything manual uh, i couldn't uh, i cannot buy planters i couldn't buy harvesters i couldn't buy several things i needed i couldn't you know get a proper farmhouse for workers to stay in you know everything was actually manually done so i didn't have that uh, kind of money that I needed to do uh, mechanized farming so it was like doing the same kind of farming that the person in the village is doing where you have to rely on all these unskilled farm laborers that that are good in disappointing okay the disappointment was terrible okay? so i didn't have money to buy the machines i needed that would help make my life easy as a farmer yes we could rent tractors from you know there's some farmers that have tractors you could rent tractors from them even at that getting those tractors was a big challenge because sometimes you have to wait for them for up to a month before it's available to be used because several people are demanding for the same tractor several people are asking for the same tractor and also then to get those tractors was about seven million naira like the second hand one was like seven million naira to get those tractor and i didn't have that kind of money so somehow you have to keep waiting and then as your waiting time is going the rain is moving because you know when you don't have money, don't even have money for education and you have money for education so i have to wait for rain so doing that kind of farming was a bit challenging and difficult it was highly difficult so i told myself that this is not the kind of farming i want to do at this level of my life if i want to do farming i don't want to do it like the woman in the village like the man in the village that is doing farming so i told myself that i will come back when i'm ready i have the right resources to go into farming i have the right skills i need the right manpower that will work for me i could afford to get graduates to work in my farm and pay them well so that was one of the reasons i left farming have you subscribed to my channel kindly subscribe right now subscribe like comment and share the video so that more people will get to see our video when we post the second reason i left farming was getting skilled worker was very difficult was highly difficult getting skilled and reliable workers it was difficult i remember one of those times that i had to even pay and you know one of those farmers that had as agents to get me uh workers i got these workers from Benin republic I actually requested for five of them to be sent to me so i had to pay consulting fee for the five of them to come their transportation from Benin republic i had to rent an apartment for them buy basic things for those people normally when they come to nigeria you're actually supposed to give them feeding money they can use to feed for each week the plan is that at the end of the month you pay them a particular amount but you will not pay you just pay them 50 percent of their salary each month and at the end of the year you pay them the summation of the whole money at the end of the year so they came i've given them money for their feeding i've written an apartment for them i have bought some basic food stuff for them bought some basic kitchen utensils for them at the end of the day this only stayed for one day and disappeared one day i just came to the farm and i didn't see anybody i asked my manager where are they the workers he said he has not seen them we went to the house, we didn't see anybody. We asked the neighbors, they said they actually saw them in the morning going out with their bags, so they don't know where they were going to. I called the agent, I was like, see, these boys who sent me, they are nowhere to be found. He was like, madam, I don't live for my boss, so if anything happens to them, we hold you responsible. I was like, how? How am I supposed to be, you know, held responsible? These people came, we rented an apartment for them, they just vanished. After one day, 
they only came to the farm the you know they came to the farm only one day the next day they disappeared okay finally two days after the man called us okay they've seen them they said that uh, they are sorry they just wanted to come to nigeria and that was just an avenue to come to nigeria you see how how mean some people can be actually i paid their fee all the way from Benue to nigeria paid everything got an accommodation they just came and disappeared so that's why you know, sometimes when people are looking for work outside the country some of these employers are skeptical because they've had experiences of people you get people out from their country give them a sponsorship visa pay everything and they come and they disappear it happens every day and that was what i experienced okay so getting workers was so difficult i kept paying agencies i kept paying all these agents to get me other people but we couldn't get so getting skilled worker was difficult then before now we had people come from Kotonu and do work for us when naira depreciated all of them disappeared so somehow it was not difficult to get workers some, some of these guys you tell them to come and do work for you you have to wait at their timing wait until they are available to be able to do the work for you and sometimes it can cost you a lot like i've had an experience whereby i needed to spray that period we have warm attack on farms corn farms had warm attack army warm attack so i needed to spray my farm as soon as possible once you plant at least within um one week of planting you should start spraying i called this boy to come and spray for me one day two days three days gone they never came my manager one other person had to end up doing the whole farm and it took them days and that thing cost us to lose that whole farm millions gone down the drain because we couldn't get workers so that's the second required bit for me i didn't have adequate uh, skilled workers to work for me all right and it's all boils down to funding too because if i had the money i'll get uh, automated sprayers that will spray my farm i can get planters that will plant my farm i'll get machine that will do plowing for me harrowing for me all those things i can actually do it just get someone that will pray the machines and the work is done so because i didn't have enough funding it affected several things then the third reason why i left farming was the insecurity in nigeria at the point farming became a bit dangerous because they were kidnapping farmers they were kidnapping they were, you know there was a lot of insecurity in 2019 2018 2020 so i had to prioritize my safety because this creature was one of the reasons why i left farming the first reason why i left agriculture was the road to the farm sometimes is terrible terrible like you would drive like one hour from where you can stop your car to the road sometimes you have to enter by do bike and during the rainy season the roads are terrible like terrible the malls are there there was a day i tried to go to the farm with my car then i was using a a sienna because i had to buy that sienna because of the farm my farm business so i was in a sienna and i came to the farm relatively like a bit late around 3 pm and normally i go with my staff or pick some of those boys that work with me in the farm so i picked them from the their house and then drive but that day i came late so i didn't see the guy i called his number wasn't going and i didn't come with my staff so i was alone that day i got to the farm area like it didn't rain but because of previous rains the the road was highly muddy my my car got stopped my car got stopped somewhere inside the mud like that day was terrible I looked around, I didn't see anybody for like 30 minutes, one hour, nobody was passing to even help me out. I was stuck there and it was getting like 4 p.m. It was getting late. God, that day I prayed and I kept praying until I had a miracle that day. Somehow, miraculously, my car came out of that mud. It was a terrible experience. So the roads to the farm, sometimes they are terrible. By the time your harvest is ready, sometimes getting buses to come into the farm and carry your goods is like work because most of them don't want to enter the road that road most of them don't want to experience those kind of things they don't want their cats to get stuck somewhere so some of these roads to the farms are very bad the road network was nothing to write home about 
it can be highly discouraging. It's a few farming areas that are the roads are manageable, but most farming areas in Nigeria don't have good road network at all. Sometimes when you see all this food in the market, just appreciate the farmers, they do a lot. That's why when somebody is pricing a farmer rubbish price, it's very annoying because the problem they go through to make sure that that food gets to the market is not, it's not a joke, it's not an easy stuff. That's one of the reasons why I left farming for now. The fifth reason why I left farming is actually the problem with middlemen. The middlemen can be frustrating, seriously. Sometimes when you have some product and you have to depend on this middleman to buy from you, the prices they buy is ridiculous. The prices they buy from farmers are, most times they are quite ridiculous. Don't even pity the farmers in, in, in pricing. It's like you're working for those middlemen because let's say you sell a bag of cucumber to them then they were buying a whole bag of cucumber at 25 2500 by the time you finish with there, they'll price you a whole bag of cucumber 25 and this same bag of cucumber will have over maybe 50 pieces of cucumber inside and they will not start selling one of it to 200 naira or 100, 100 naira the same bag of cucumber they are pricing you for two five. So sometimes the way the middlemen price the farmers is ridiculous. So if you don't have a network, you don't have a strong distributorship network as a farmer, you'll just be working for the middlemen. You work at the end of the day, you're taking practically nothing home. All right. So the issue with middlemen was a big challenge for me getting the right network to buy my stuff. I just had the business then, so I didn't really have all the network of people that would buy my stuff. So if you're getting into farming, there are a lot of things you put into consideration. Do you have the network of people that will buy your thing? Can you reach the end users? If possible, get to the end user. Do for a while to cut off those middlemen because they don't help the business at all. In as much as it's good to you know share your profit with other people but when somebody is trying to get you of the business you have to look for a way to get to the people that needs your products and services these are some of the reasons why i left agriculture for now by the time i have all the structures in place the kind of money i want i'll probably get back to agriculture but i'm getting back to doing cash crops like i said in my previous video that is where the money is that is where you make your billions. So I hope to get back to agriculture very soon and get back in a big way. If this video has blessed your life, don't forget to give me a subscription, like my video, comment and share so that you get to more people. All right, please don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe. All right, do have a lovely day and keep winning.